Victorian school life. Wise guy, eh? It was the Victorians' idea that all children should go to school to learn to read and write. Silly boy! Going to school was not free until 1891, so only the wealthy and middle classes went to school. <laughs> Boys from wealthy families were sent off to a boarding school. Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? In 1870, a new law made it compulsory for children aged 5 to 10 to go to school. <laughs> Many parents ignored this law as they needed their children to work. Oh, really? Schools were built across the country so that every child could go to school. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Charity schools for poor children were called ragged or dame schools. Victorian schools were gloomy places with tall windows and big classrooms filled with hard wooden desks. Oh boy. Boys and girls were not allowed to play together or sit next to each other. They had to enter school through different entrances and had separate playgrounds. Girls wore white aprons and ribbons in their hair. Boys wore long shorts, high socks and ankle boots. Excuse me. During playtime, they would play hopscotch and use skipping rope, skittles and spinning tops. Football, British Bulldog <coughs> and Tag <coughs> were popular games. <coughs> 